Purgatory! Ah, oh god, that's I tried to give you the most flamboyant character, too. <laughs> he's got his shirt up, yeah, look, look, there's the three buttons on his pants, too, Dave. I see them there. <laughs> Second button gets popped. Uh, you know, the fine elven hairs of my genitalia are showing. Uh, oh god, just attack, please. <laughs> please. Yes, please, just attack, please. <laughs> This hit. beast shall burn as like a huge flaming bull kind of charges out of my hands. You know, he's got his horns burning with flames. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm doing some damage. I killed this thing. This thing just it it, it the the bull charges and rams it, and it, and the whole ass end of the bull kind of collapses into a ball of flame in front of it. And, this thing just burns the cinders. Down. And it just yikes a couple times. Yike, yike, yike. And it's yeah, just a little pile of ash as the as the flames rescind. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking this is over with, Dave. I, I start buttoning back up. <laughs> oh, God, that would be a good thing, I would imagine. <laughs> Rigby, what say you? I saw Crust go out this window, and I'm going, what the? <laughs> so I move out, to the, move out to the front yard here sure. and see... The one in front of me, but I see the other one over by, over there seems to be distracted. It is. It's so uh, it's actually to... dead. Yeah, and you see him picking this hand up, and putting <laughs> oh. it into his bag. Okay. So I move back to the other one over here, and try to stab him with my short sword. Okay. Little stab, stab, stabby, and that's oh, a miss. Wow, murder her by one misses. <laughs> hit with this. He never misses twice. Oh hell no! Sixteen, got nice. that one. Very nice. Are you using the thrown dagger attack? Yeah, attack range. Yeah, you are. You're out of ammo. That's what it says. <laughs> yeah, it's using the wrong attack, but it's still dead. <laughs> oh, it's, it's still it's still the same though. Oh, Don't worry about it. Yeah. I... All right, three damage. All right, the goblin's wounded. All right, <laughs> I I'll give him a crusk like growl. And then oh, pass it to Draven. <laughs> All right, Draven, you're up. Okay, so that one outside shot at me, right? So I, I know it's there. Yeah, yeah, you see it, yeah. You just seen uh, Rigby stab it. Then I go charging out there, brandishing my sword and shield, as I'm ready to try to drive my sword home in its body. You can do it, Draven. I have utmost confidence in you. Come on, man. I'm glad you do. He doesn't sound too confident himself. So. Come on, your God guides your blade, man. I've got my finger on the crit miss button. <laughs> nope, he misses, though. Oh, God. Miss I. That's it. All right, so the <laughs> goblin drops its bow. Nah, she holds on to the bow with, the, with his left hand. Uh... No, he's just going to hold on to it. He's going to nimbly escape away from both of you to about right here as he falls back. Don't flee, Falcon. And he shoots his bow at uh, Rigby. And he actually hit Rigby. Oh, shit. Ow. And Apparently, I am no longer takes, the threat. Rigby takes five damage. Take the well, arrow in the shoulder and Rigby just me around. Gibbed him with a dagger, so. Alright, so yeah, you, you get hit with a little bit of piercing damage. That's it for let's see, 10, 20, 30. That's it. Alright, so you're back up now. Gobby. Okay. Being in the back of the building, she doesn't know that there's still something going on. Yeah, we think this shit's done with that. Yeah. So she goes over to the altar there and sees if, uh, because Maliki is one of the goddesses here, if there's a smudge stick. Uh, that's a, better. A smudge stick? What is it? Yeah, it's basically a dried herb, mostly uh, sage, uh, in a bundle tied with a string. Okay. Like light that shit, and it's kind of like a censer that like the Catholic priests use to spread, you know, smoke and shit. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha.
I see that uh, Rusk. I saw that goblin uh, trying to escape. I'm moving a little bit m closer. Okay. And I reach uh, to my back, take one. Uh, no, I reach uh, to my belt and take one of my hand axes and throw it towards the goblin. All right, you're within range, so you won't get any kind of disadvantage. You attacked last round, so it's a new round, so you're still raging, so you're attacking again. You'll keep your rage up. You <laughs> attack, you miss, and the the hand axe goes wildly into the into this farm instead that has several large boulders sticking out of the earth. These large boulders are everywhere. Anything else for you there, Krusk? I'm like, get it up, you fool creature. Nix. Right. Uh, well, I'm. I, I like. I'm right here with Gabby. You know, I, I have already started buttoning my trousers back up and and everything. So I figure it's all done here. You know, I I kind of reach in my my pouch and and toss her my my tender twig so she can light up her incense. I figure any kind of smell overriding her goblin attractant smell is good. So I toss her that as I. I button up my shirt and stuff, and I uh, fix my hair and shit. Dave, get 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 back, you know, presentable. You know, the the heat of battle gets me all hot and fired up. You know, I've got to, I got to get out of my clothes when battle starts. Hot, fired up, and also a little scared too, because you're always covering your eyes and stuff. Kind of weird. Uh, it's just, I like it, it. That's the form of intimidation. Yeah. So hopefully I need to ramp these combats up to where you don't get down to the buttons in your pants. So I <laughs> yeah, need to ramp, ramp them these. down, though. Okay, I need to ramp them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next uh, you're pass. getting... Yeah, I, you're well, getting where, 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 is she, where is she at? I'm going to get by her at the altar, wherever the altar is. I, we'll, we'll just say it's there then. Okay. So, uh, Krusk, you throw your axe, right? You miss the goblin... You know, the goblin is sticking his hands inside of its ears and going, <laughs> you know, screeching all this stuff to you and goblin. <laughs> and you can see about... Uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm like uh, stamping my foot on the, on, on, the floor, on the ground like... Uh, <laughs> like, I will cut you. So you see a goblin run out of this, this farmhouse down to the south, right? And this goblin oh my God. launches an arrow at you. He's wielding a short bow, alright? This thing fires. And he hits you with an 18. Oh my God. So you take uh. another you take another uh, one damage. Thank you so much for the follow. Kankano, thank you very much. Welcome to the community. That's Next. pretty damn tough, though, you know. Yeah. That's, he's, he's doing good. Rigby, you're up. Now, all of a sudden you see an arrow land in, uh, land in Krusk. Poof, as you're kind of, you know, looking between him and the surveying the, the scenes. So it's your turn. What do you do? As I take this arrow on the shoulder... I spin around with my and have my bow in my hand when I come back around, and I try to return the favor to this goblin that just shot me. Sure. Yeah, he's only about thirty feet away. Well within range of a of a bow. You hit with a fifteen. All right. You do five damage. Kills it. You, you know, you basically strike it down, hit it in the head, and it goes down. Get the other one, Krusk. We need backup out here. There's more goblins. Draven, what say you? I didn't uh, hear that. Did you, quick, Gobby? Quick uh, it sounded like gobbledygook from where we are. Give me a couple of perception checks while you're on the side. <laughs> uh, quick question. Uh, my lay on hand shows that it's been used, right? Yes, it has. Yeah, they, I yeah, used you it. Had yeah. A tape, man. Okay. Yep. 
All right, well, now that I see that there is more out engaging, I have no choice but to try to double move to close to him. Next, you hear it. Okay. I'm pretending like I don't, but is that okay? <laughs> That's fine. If I, I use both my actions nice. to basically run over there to close in on that goblin. Yeah, and, to, and to bring my bring my sword and shield up to present a threat in front of him, so he stops shooting my companions. Yeah, that's a that goblin's eyes got big as it saw you barreling. You're like the fastest human that it's ever seen before, and you can hear you can hear the goblin going, "Uh oh, keck keck, uh oh." <laughs> While I'm running, banging my shield. Face me! Bang, 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 bang! Face me! Bang, 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 bang! It just drops its it. bow, and then hesitates for a couple seconds, and then finally draws its scimitar, and yells, <laughs> Ah, Grumsh! Grumsh! <laughs> Alright, so another goblin comes out of the, uh, out of the farmhouse to the south, and it's yelling, Grumsh, as well. And it it stays right by the door, and fires a uh, a bow, firing at a Draven. So Draven, you're going to be shot with a short bow. Wow! First critical hit of the day. Oh, oh my God! Uh -oh. Finally, Draven gets touched. Uh, you know. Yeah. So now we're gonna we're gonna do some crit damage on Draven. Total of nine, Draven. You just took a, a precise shot right in the armpit. From you know, as you're holding up your shield, all of a sudden you feel this pinching, burning sensation. And you see this arrow that's lodged into your armpit. Oh, it's right, right in the oh joint God. of his armor. Ooh. All right, so we're back up to round number seven. <coughs> Whew. Wow, seven, and thank goodness. He started buttoning up. So, Gobby, <laughs> what say you as you're back into the temple trying to light your incense and whatnot? Yeah, she's doing her smudging ceremony. I mean, somebody's got to watch over Vark and the treasure that's still there. That's true. Not, not knowing what, what's going on and still slightly wounded. So, smudging ceremony. All right. <laughs> So what does the smudging ceremony consist of? Like uh, any kind of chance or, or just... Yeah, it, it's uh, basically your your light the uh, dried sage bundle to where it's like smoky. Chant and just like have the smoke go around you and the, and the room. And it clears the negative energy. As I see this kind of semi-erotic, I start unbuttoning my shirt again. Oh God. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Just playing. <laughs> All right, Cross. What say you? I'm like uh, running towards uh, the goblin that's standing in front of Draven. I'm just about to make it, and I'm pulling my great axe out and hitting him. I think that was precisely 30 feet, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> and I missed. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> A little bit out of uh, breath. <sighs> I, I kind of I kind of shrug, Dave. Flip my hair, you know, back over my eye. <sighs> These guys are going to die if I don't help them, Gobby. <sighs> I'll see you in a few, babe. I kind of I walk over to the doorway. 5, 10, 15. 20. Alright. Uh, what do I see when I get out here? Do I see these guys over there uh, in, in combat, it looks like. Right? Yeah, Rigby's got his bows in, bow in his hand. And he, right in front of know, me, right? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of pointed over towards the farmhouse to the south. Now, uh, you can you can see that uh, there's a couple large boulders in the, the main courtyard here, mm. but between the boulders you can see both Draven uh, and Krusk have pr covered a, a far amount of ground, and it looks like they're engaged with some other goblins down. You know, how, how about the this goblin over here stone. by the farmhouse? Uh, can I clearly see him? Uh, or is he somewhat sure. Obscure? No, he. No, you can. You can see him too. I've just. I've got a you know, top button, a 
back, I'm back at the top button again. Pop it. Okay. All right. It seems you guys are gonna die if you don't get get my help here. So, Nick's to the rescue yet again. If you guys rely too heavily on my demonic powers, there's no telling what's going to happen. All right, I'm just going to, just fair warning. Fair you could warning. turn into a demon. Hell, we don't know. <laughs> I cast flames for perdition yet again. Oh my god, almost a crit. Oh god. What is what is the range of that? Like 120 feet, I believe. Yeah, you got plenty of room. Uh, yeah. Burn in the flames of put of of hell, you beast. Full damage. Oh. <laughs> What is this thing screeching through the air? Oh, I rolled. I rolled attack again. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Hit the wrong, the wrong dog. That's that's. Well, I mean, isn't? Oh, then then, is, then, then I roll a fucking two. Uh, yeah, were, yeah. I'm like, wow, I rolled a ten, man. Wow, awesome. You know, let's count that, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is like yeah. a, a huge swirling snake of flame comes out, Dave, and. It, and as it gets close, it opens up its fanged mouth with its tongue flicking out, and it, it hits this goblin full force, and That's it does two fire damage. <laughs> Such a huge <laughs> firework show for no result, right? I know, right? It was like the barge going off all at one time. Exactly. Like in San Diego Mix a couple years ago. is all style, no substance, you know. <laughs> all right. Burn, beast, burn! All right, so the, uh, the goblin that's... Uh, on the both of you, both on Draven and Krusk. Uh, he's going to attack with a scimitar. He is going to attack Draven. He's going to try to, to get one. Wow, that was a uh, horrible flander there. Uh, miss on Draven. He's going to go ahead and take a nimble escape. And he is going to bolt for the... He's he's bolting. Okay. I am so sick of nimble escape, I tell you. <laughs> I know. Right. I, I know. I'd be tired of it too. All right. So uh, let's see. Rigby, you're up now. I see this one making a run for it, and I oh, it aim, my, is. aim my bow at him and let fly. Yeah, you can hear him laughing as he's running away. <laughs> 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 you can hear that goblin cackle as you oh, just oh, slaughter yeah. him with an arrow. Rigby probably. ain't no fucking jokes. He's a machine, dude. <laughs> right. Wow. There it goes. Goblin goes down. I'm kind of pissed after taking this arrow in the shoulder. Yeah, he's kind of... The goblin's looking behind his, you know, shoulders, laughing as the arrow just goes in the front of his throat, literally rips out his throat box and his spine... And then the spine just sticks in the fence, kind of jiggling on the fence, and he just falls <laughs> over into a pile of just bloody flesh as the spine is still kind of twitching on Flawless the fence. Victory. <laughs> <laughs> that was a give there. That was a give there. He exploded. <laughs> he exploded. I Anything kiss else for you? Kiss my bow and move over to here. Okay. <laughs> Draven, what say you? Okay, so I just took this arrow under the arm, and I'm like, oh, oh, and I'm bleeding, and you can see the blood running down under my arm as I bring just bring my arm down to try to close off the bleeding and move over to this one, and I'm like, you dare attack me? Feel my fury! And attack him. And watch me miss after saying something cool. Wait, I got my finger on the button. There. Draven hasn't hit all day. Come Whoa! on, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, second crit of the day. Nice crit. Nice crits. Nice crits, Mr. Crits. Okay, will this uh, automatically roll the critical damage yeah, if I put my damage on him? Okay. Now watch the watch the dice fly. Now there you go. Uh, almost, almost minimum damage, but you still take you still take the goblin out. How do you kill this goblin, by the way, with your like, beautiful critical strike? Yes, at this point, it's just pure fury in his eyes, and I'm running up to him, and I'm like, "You dare feel my fury!" And I bring this sword overhand down, and a great big deep cut across his chest, splitting open his chest as he falls to the ground. Ooh, filleted him wide open. As his, as he opened up like the like that turkey from, uh, what was that from? <laughs> trying to think. I don't know what no, it was. Uh, it was a uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when he <laughs> when he cut the turkey and it went. 
<laughs> and then it just deflated. <laughs> right. That's basically just what the goblin did. It just deflated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Gamer. <laughs> all right, you guys are out of combat. Oh, okay. Dead goblins all around you. Guys, right, so let's uh, uh, let's grab these goblins and drag them back into the church temple over here, whatever it is, uh, to in case any more come and figure out something's going on. What are you gonna do, Rigby? Build a goblin barricade? Oh, come yeah, on. we can build a goblin fort how, out of how goblins. Much more macabre can you get? We already got we've already got crust uh, cutting off hands and then whatnot. I'm, I'm going to thank you very much for the follow and, and, and search Carnegie. for my hand axe. Welcome to the community. <laughs> and I saw flying towards there. Welcome, 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 Rian Carnegie. I stagger a bit as I pull back and I just reach out of there and just bravely like pull the arrow out. Ugh. Uh, that looks painful, Draven. Uh, yeah, it it feels painful, Nix. <laughs> you should really do something about that, man. I shall be fine. You sure? Your color, the color is fading from you quickly. How about take a little rest here. There's a bed back here in this priest's room. I'm gonna grab a goblin corpse and start dragging it back towards the <laughs> temple. Okay. I'm like taking the two uh, corpses that are over here and just swing them on my back and also go back towards the temple. Yeah, oh, I'm don't going trip back... over the ward now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm going back in the temple, Dave. That was exhausting. Uh, yeah. Is there any sort of chairs in here? Uh, Th a there's a, there's like a couple of pews. Yeah. Like so as you're dragging one of these, as you're dragging one of these goblins back, you can hear. <laughs> yeah, you can you can hear like this thing is like making chicken noises, and it's like something's clucking as you're, as you're pulling this you're pulling this thing back, Krusk, and and this dead goblin is clucking like a chicken. What the hell is going on there? I turn around and I'm like. Looking at this goblin, checking if they, if he doesn't have a chicken underneath him. <laughs> he has a his backpack. In the goblin's backpack, there is a like a little uh, sack. It's like a uh, just like a typical run-of-the-mill potato sack, like a hempen sack. And inside of the sack is a chicken, and the chicken's uh, his feathers are all ruffled up and shit, half pulled out. It looks he's probably gonna eat this chicken later. But uh, you found that you got a chicken, and there's also <laughs> there's there's also a gold ring that was on this a, uh, on this goblin as well. Oh, <clears throat> I uh, I let the chicken <laughs> loose, and I uh, take the ring. And it just kind of you know clucks away. <laughs> Not even an egg. I didn't, I didn't see that. It drops was, one as it's running away. We could have eaten that chicken. Grab the egg. Nice breakfast for tomorrow. Oh, there wasn't no egg. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. And, yeah, and one egg. The egg is alive. So I wanted to make fart noise. And one egg would not be enough for a half orc. No way. Let alone a whole party of five. You'd be bogarting that egg by yourself somewhere. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Nice snort. So you guys are are all back at the after a couple of minutes, you know. You guys are all back at the. What are you guys doing with all these the bodies, people? man? Uh, as I'm sitting on the pew, legs kicked up on on the back of another pew. Uh, I'm I am fully reclined here. Well, what's we going wanna... on with all the body dragging there, Rigby? We're gonna keep them out of the streets in case there's more goblins around. Then they won't. They'll be slower to figure out that something went on around here. Okay. And if someone wants to give me a hand with this warg, let's drag it the rest of the way into the temple. By all means, Crust, give him a hand. My face actually looks uh, disgusted as you try to bring those bodies in to this <laughs> temple. Clearly disgusted on my face. You guys find about 30 more silver on all, okay. of, these, uh, all of these goblins. Sorry, Draven, we'll take care of these uh, later. Right now we need a place to hide them. 
And this is the only one that we've cleared at the moment. And uh, we'll look, take one another look outside and make sure we didn't miss any bodies or loose uh, sacks or weapons that fell off goblins. And if so, we'll pick those up and drag them back, take them back in with us also. Yeah, there's like a. There was the four goblins, so uh, the two that What size are these scimitars, Dave? Are they man sized or they're, goblin sized? Yeah, they're, does, they're does, does size even matter in 5e? I can't remember. They're, they're normal. I mean, it, it, there are a couple of small little technical rules, but. Uh, I'm going to need yeah. a scimitar eventually, anyways. But yeah, I won't sure, they're those. rusty and all, but they're. I mean, they're yeah, still, I mean, still going to work, you know yeah, what I mean? There's no ye old item shop anywhere. Yeah, there are there is ye old item shop. I love it. The adventures old. Yeah. All right. So think? on the one goblin, there's there was that ring, you know, like I was talking about, uh, and then there was uh, ten silvered darts as well. Ooh, fancy Ooh. stuff. Ooh. And then there was a, a small wooden box as well. I ask uh, on this, is there anything special with this ring, or is it just a normal ring? Let me look at it, Russ. I put the ring on my finger. Uh, it's special now because it's on me, but uh, I see nothing out of the ordinary with it. Or do I, Dave? No. Are you, are I cast you like the kind magic of a... as a ritual. I, I spend ten minutes kind of... I've got like a constipated look on my face as I'm... <laughs> As I'm, you know, doing detect magic as a ritual. Uh, I sure, and, and it's kinda, doing uh, your chalk outlines uh, and yeah, you're lighting yeah, your I, incense. I, I'm <laughs> not, I'm not moving from my pew, so I'm doing all this whilst sitting and, uh, and reclined. <laughs> I kind of pull a piece of chalk out, start drawing pentagrams and 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 sorts of figures on the floor. I, I light a little candle and shit, you know, the typical things you do when. <laughs> Do a yeah, magic the, ritual. The ring isn't magical. It's just a uh, gold ring. You think it's probably worth about? You would think it's probably worth about twenty-five gold. Right, it's, it's probably strike uh, fetch a good price at, at the jeweler's shop there, Krusk. But it looks nice on yeah. me. W wouldn't you agree? Give it back, then. Oh God, what a bother! <laughs> Give it man. back. I love it. There you go. I, I, I found pulled, the I chicken. The God damn it! Kind of flip it like a coin towards Krusk. Is this box locked? Uh, no, it's it's unlocked. It, it, oh, okay. Inside of it, it has a uh, a symbol of the the lion shield coster. That sounds familiar, but I can't remember what that is. I don't feel bad. I don't know either, Rigby. It says lion shield coster on it, and it's a symbol. What's in the box, Rigby? And don't don't keep me on tenter hooks all day. I'll pull it out and say, look, it's a symbol, the oh. lion shield coster symbol. But I can't remember what I can't remember what the type of organization they are. Anybody have any ideas? I've never heard of them, and if I've never heard of it, it's probably nothing major. That's for sure. Well, thank you. Dave. I don't know. Oh. The I'm so dumb I don't know. No, uh, well, at least at least you're self aware. I will give you that. You're wise enough to know that you're dumb enough not to know. Alright. I'm gonna <laughs> thank you, Dre. I'll let you do a give me a give me a history check. Give me a history check. We'll see if you remember what the line shield coaster is. Okay. Me or, or next shield coaster or whatever. Is this is this me or, or anybody? Dre? I think I actually do have history, Dave, so yeah. I am proficient in, in the ways of the world. You have no clue. No, oh, damn it. Sounds I, well, familiar, Nick, but you're like, I must have been asleep eh, in high school at that time. My, my girlfriend was putting a, a, a tiger tattoo on me at the time. <laughs> <laughs> we went over the, the Lion King, Lion King, whatever. Yeah, Rigby, you have, you have no clue either. You know that you've heard this somewhere, but you just can't remember. What is it again? What is it called again? Lion Shield Coster. It's a symbol. Draven, you have no clue either getting in on the bandwagon there. You have no clue either. Well, I simply shrug as I bleed over here. You've, I have no idea. You've heard of it. You, you think you've seen the symbol before, but you just can't remember where. Now let's hang on to it, Draven. It'll probably get us into that clubhouse should we chance upon it. As I was smudging 
this room, I saw that the bedroom uh, was ransacked. 